Adobe Premiere Rush allows you to easily edit video on multiple devices and then output directly for social media. Let's begin by creating a brand new project. After launching Rush, you'll see a blue button called Create a New Project. You simply click on that to get started. I'm working on a desktop, but you can also start a new project using the plus sign at the bottom of the application on a mobile device. After clicking Create New Project, the media browser appears. This is where you select media you want to import into the project. But before adding media, let's name this project. On the lower left, you'll see the word Untitled next to the project name field. Select that field and give the project a name. This is an important step so you don't end up with a lot of untitled projects. I'll name my project Surfing and press Return. Since I'm already down in the lower left corner of the application, I just wanted to point out that I've placed a check mark next to Sync with Creative Cloud. That's automatically saving a backup of this project to the cloud. If you want to turn that off, you'll just be saving the project locally. I'd also like you to notice there are two buttons to the left of the Sync button. The filter, which allows you to search for video, audio, or images only. And then there's the sort button, which allows you to sort items by name and date created. So let's go back to the media browser and I'll show you how to add footage to your project. I've downloaded some Adobe stock footage and saved it to my local movie folder. That's living here on my computer. I can also import footage from the cloud. And if I wanted to, I could come back down to the lower left and put a check mark to copy that cloud media onto this local device. I'd like to view these movie clips by the date they were shot. I'll go back to the sort button and choose date created. Now I'll return to my movie clips and hover the cursor over the thumbnails to preview the content. I'll click the clips in the order I want them to appear in my sequence. I'd like to edit this piece to music. So I'll go back over to the local area of my media browser, select the music folder, and then navigate to the music file I want to choose. After you press create, you'll see text that says preparing media as Rush optimizes the clips for playback. The clips you clicked on are added to a sequence in the order you selected them. So you're already story building. Adobe Rush sets the video frame aspect ratio based on the media you import but you can change the frame orientation from landscape to portrait or square right here in the edit panel by choosing orientation from the playback and sequence options menu button. You can use the home button to return to the project browser and create another new project. From here, press the three dots at the bottom right of the project icon to turn cloud syncing on and off or to delete or rename your projects. I'll click on this project to return to the editing panel and keep working. So that's how you create a new project in Adobe Premiere Rush. Now you can add more media, reorder clips, and continue editing your project from your computer, tablet, or mobile phone.